This is the NAM News Highlights. I am Magdalene Okwedajo. The National Chairman of the All Progressives Congress, Mr. John Odigeoyegu, will continue in office contrary to social media speculation. Odigeoyegu, at the end of the party's National Caucus meeting, said prophets of doom who predicted his removal had been put to shame, describing the outcome as beautiful and pleasant. Troops deployed to Yolwata in the ongoing Operation Cut Race have arrested 10 headsmen destroying farmlands at Sesegi and Sendu villages of Benue. Brigadier General Texas Chuku, the Director of Army Public Relations, who reiterated the Army's determination to fish out criminals and recover their weapons, said the suspects had been handed over to the police for investigation. The National Human Rights Commission has called for enhanced collaboration among stakeholders to tackle the humanitarian challenges in parts of the Northeast affected by violent crisis. Executive Secretary Mr. Tony Ojuku, at a conference organized by the Search for Common Ground, the Rights Commission, and Northeast Civil Society Forum in Maiduguri, said this would save resources and promote integrated development of the affected region. UNESCO says it will train 300 scientists, decision makers, and community leaders in techniques of water resource management for the implementation of the Biosphere and Heritage of Lake Chad project. Deputy Director General of UNESCO, Mr. Gitacho Ngida, said the 30,000 residents will also be empowered to be decision makers for the communities, which will be enlightened on the implications of sustainable water management. The project implementation is expected to employ trends in technology and scientific research findings to ensure long-term planning and successful execution. Women in Saudi Arabia are now permitted to enlist in the army as the kingdom continues to enact reforms, granting females more access to a wide range of previously forbidden careers. Women can apply as soldiers in the provinces of Riyadh, Mecca, al qasim and Medina. The recruitment of female soldiers is one of many reforms enhancing women's rights introduced in recent months in the kingdom. The UN has launched a 24-hour helpline to enable members of staff report sexual harassment in the workplace. UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres said the Speak Up helpline, which goes live on Tuesday, is part of the UN's five-point plan to address the menace within its ranks. A mother has found a juvenile eastern brown snake, one of the world's deadliest snakes, hiding in her child's lunchbox in South Australia. For details of these and other stories, log on to our website, nan.ng.